What's good, what's good? If you liked the video, please like, subscribe, hit the bell, join the Discord, all that, and a bag of chips. Also, join the Patreon. I'm so bored that I'm finna sit here and start doing reaction content. Uh, this dude is hilarious. I've watched a couple of videos. Um, I don't know. I just... <laughs> this is crazy, man. It's hilarious. So, I guess, uh, oh, that can be like, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do We that. are currently facing a life threatening epidemic that is threatening the lives of many teens around the world. Oh, what's that? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, uh, it, it has been brought to my attention that there's a new strain let loose that is infecting more teens than ever. The strain is propylene glycol formaldehyde. Street name Guava Ice. <clears throat> so stay safe out there and back to you, Linda. Uh, Linda. What? Oh, oh shit, man. Way back when, somewhere That's in crazy. Timbuktu, a Homo sapien somewhere found a plant Timbuktu. by the name of tobacco, and for whatever reason, somewhere in this dude's caveman brain, he decided, uh, me smoke now and that he did and as humans slowly evolved smoking did too and soon motherfuckers went from looking all old and wise smoking these big old pipes to soon smoking cigars on some mafia boss shit some which mafia turned boss. into cigarettes now back in the day if you were stressing doc would prescribe you a pack of good old cigarettes sore throat cigarettes oh That's you crazy. got a cough here Smoke a cigarette. But after a while, people's teeth started looking all British and shit, so they decided, That's Whoa, crazy. I don't British think these are crazy. healthy, <laughs> isn't it? So we decided we needed to make cigarettes better. And you know what makes everything better? The letter E. Your mail's taking too long to come in? Email. Wait, wait, what's that? You, you want to play sports, but your ass at every single sport? Esports. E okay. Oh, you got daddy issues? E-girl. So of crazy. course, when people realize cigarettes are killing them, e-cigarettes. E Man, one thing leads to another, and shit, you got yourself a vaporizer Gen Y GTX box mod what with three heck? USB charging <laughs> ports, a USB speaker, and a six-inch LED touchscreen that can play Flappy Bird. Like vaping is just getting a little too advanced, bro. Like I remember one time I was chilling in the washroom with my homie Billy, and of course a motherfucker walks in with a vape, but this was no regular vape, no. This shit looked like a gadget straight out of fucking Star Wars. <laughs> Yo, like you wanna hit? Go, go, go hit gadget, a, a ass. hit of your iPhone? <laughs> iPhone? <laughs> this is that eSmoke FTX 763 third series, my boy. Watch this. Yo, did he just hotbox the whole bathroom in one hit? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes the fuck I did. And this shit's 100, Nick. Holy shit, well, where did you find 100, Nick? Yeah, uh, I ended up mixing my 50, Nick, guava juice with my 50, Nick, blueberry ice, and it just kind of added up to 100. Bro, I, I don't think that's how it works. Uh, shut up, my mom's calling me. No, nah, that's crazy. Yo, fuck you, mom. And that nah, was that's the moment crazy. I realized I there really my, is levels to this beat. shit. Level one. Level one is the type of dude who isn't addicted, but he'll occasionally take a hit of somebody's device. But level two... Too. Bro's borderline addicted, but he's still in the denial phase. Bro, are you addicted to vaping? Addicted? Pfft, nah, nah. I don't even vape like that, bro. Shit. That's... Do five jumping jacks right now. Bro, what? That, that's easy. One, two, three, <coughs> four. <coughs> Oh shit, oh, level three, <laughs> the fiend. This motherfucker is strapped up with some nicotine at all times, and even when he has a vape in his hand, this dude will ask for yours. And god forbid, if this fiend loses his vape, this motherfucker will be stressing like he just lost his only child. A fiend without a vape is the exact equivalent of one of these purple minions. <laughs> Dude will be itching for that shit, and lord knows what that man will do for a fix. Level 4, nah. the fiend who sells what? vapes. At this point, this dude's whole life revolves around vapes. In fact, I'm pretty sure they don't even breathe oxygen anymore. Like, in order to breathe, they need to inhale some chemicals that, that, that I can't even spell. Which, on, honestly, it doesn't even say that much. Like... I can't spell a lot. Nah, that's shit, crazy, bro. I, I'm tr what I'm trying to say I'm is their crazy. bodies have just fully adapted in order to consume as much nicotine as possible. They breathe that shit, they drink the vape juice, and when they're hungry, what? shit, they just munch on the vape what? itself. And the worst part is they can't even run out of vapes. Like shit, they are the plug. This motherfucker is just the CEO of getting high on his own supply. Like, dude is his own number one customer. Level five. What? This motherfucker, bro. Like, why do you need a LED 
touch screen on your vape, bro. Like you already have a phone. <laughs> Whoa, like, did, did you just order that pizza from your vape? Mm -hmm. Shit. Where, where'd you get this from? And don't, don't get me. me started on these flavors, bro. Like, tell me why these motherfuckers can make a vape juice and call that shit early riser. And that shit literally tastes like a Wednesday at 6 a.m. Like, what, what the fuck type of ingredients mixed together to taste like a Wednesday at 6 a.m.? But early riser isn't even the weirdest flavor on the me, market. Because if you're feeling the family dinner vibes, you can get a rotisserie chicken flavor what? or if your breath okay, is smelling well, nice and people. fresh you could fuck that shit up quick with some garlic flavor juice and oh, they even no. got bacon yeah yeah i'm not gonna lie that shit sounds fire as fuck and lastly yeah do i mean, now i don't even know if i can say this on youtube right now but shit you can even get yourself some worst shirt worst worst just sure english is not anyone's best just English is Worcestershire. Not but regardless, I think we all know the home of nicotine. The eternal hot box. The, the communal vape sesh. It's the high school bathrooms, yep. man. You walk into one of these joints and there's at least Five. 15 dudes hot boxing that shit at like 10 a.m. You come I'm in trying to take to a talk. piss and now you got a head rush. You, you you walk over to the urinals, but it's so goddamn hot box, you start pissing all over the walls. But shit, you can't even piss on the walls in peace, man. You got that one fiend coming over to you trying to suck your device dry and dude's what? so down bad for that hit that that's not the only thing he'd suck dry and listen what? you may be thinking chains uh how do you know what you know about vaping and that's a great question back in the day i was a curious little george man and back in grade seven i was chilling at my friend becky's house and when i walked into becky's crib i was nothing but an innocent curious young man Bro but little did i know i would leave becky's crib far different than i entered so you know me bob and billy are posted in becky's room and i was sitting with becky so becky asked me have you ever hit a vape before hell no i hadn't <laughs> but you know i had to play it cool around right, becky so i said yeah. <clears throat> yeah yeah yeah, I, I do that shit all the time. And so, of course, she passes me the vape. And honestly, I didn't think this far ahead, but I was in way too deep to come clean now. So I put that shit in my mouth and I sucked the fuck out of it. Pause. And because this was the first time anything had made contact with my lungs beside oxygen, cough, my lungs cough. started malfunctioning. And I was coughing up a storm and my cool guy cover was blown, but... I, I had to see it through. Oh my god, are you okay? <laughs> this shit ain't nothing for a guy like me. Guys, <laughs> and as Bro, I went ground. on with my life, I would hit a device here and there, and eventually I even learned some tricks and shit. Oh. But one day, me and my homie had to run to catch a bus. And so we start running, but the homie doesn't even make it a hundred meters, and he starts rolling on the floor, coughing up blood. And I was like, yeah, no, yeah, yep, yeah, no, no, fuck that, and you know? I the heck? Me. <laughs> Guys. I just started playing some free game. So <laughs> some elevator music randomly, bro. What? How to ruin your car. Drinking and driving, getting your RA pregnant, uh, watching hentai with the door unlocked. There are plenty well, of ways to ruin your life in college. People. So here's a story no, about the biggest screw up I've ever met day. named Jimmy. Offending Jimmy was basically Steve O without all the fame and money. He was the ultimate yeah, attention seeking who would do anything in front of a crowd. He climbed fire escapes, punched himself in the balls, got suplexed on beer pong tables, anything to get a reaction out of the people. And right before a stunt, he would always yell, To the moon! Not sure why, but with Jimmy, I learned not to ask questions and just accept the craziness. Anyway, one day I'm hanging out with Jimmy and a few peeps, my Start rolling some weed. I made a little line with a credit card and I'm about to put in the blunt when Jimmy says, How much would you pay me if I snorted that? In my what? eyes, I up. I'm like, uh, For the whole line? I'll buy you a bottle of Jack Daniels. The problem was I was too excited and Jimmy started to have second thoughts. But I knew Jimmy didn't care about the bottle. He just wanted the attention. So I start chanting, Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. Bro, now we're all chanting, Jimmy, 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 Jimmy. I see Jimmy crack a little bit of a smile and he says, To the moon. Then he puts one hand on the side of his nose, bends over, and takes a huge rip. <laughs> Immediately, Jimmy was f***ed up. He's just moaning, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm dying. Jimmy keeps That's trying to good. blow it out, but he put dry plant matter in a wet nasal cavity. It ain't coming out. So he walks into the bathroom, puts his wallet and phone on the counter, and steps right into the shower. Fully clothed, he's just moaning into the shower head. 
And I don't know who's crying more, Jimmy from pain or me from laughter. Another time I'm hanging out in the dorm with some peeps when Jimmy comes barreling in. He's like, guys, guys, have you ever tried a gravity bong before? We're like, no. He's like, well, I'm about to blow okay, your mind. I need a two liter bottle and a bucket filled with water. I'm like, what do you need a bucket for? He's like, no time. Fill up a bucket and find me a two liter. So I get some water, but the only two liter we had was an unopened bottle of soda. He's like, you got to empty this first. I'm like, dude, I'm not just going to pour out a full two liter. He's like, fine. And starts chugging it, stopping periodically to burp and moan. He gets through about 90% of it. And I could tell he's in pure agony. So I just pour out the rest. He's like, oh, okay, okay, we're almost there. So he cuts off the bottom of the bottle, burns a hole in the cap, and stuffs it with a bowl. I'm looking at this contraption, having no faith it would work, but as soon as Jimmy lit the bowl, I was mesmerized. Smoke begins to fill the bottle as Jimmy looks at us and says, to the moon. Then he takes off the cap, inhales, and blows smoke all around the room. Now our dorm is covered in a thick fog, and everyone begins to panic. Jimmy's <laughs> coughing uncontrollably, and I'm like, guys, what are we gonna do? Hearing all the commotion, the RA comes and knocks on our door. Jimmy, with limited lung capacity, is like, like, oh tits, I can't get caught. I'm still on probation. So he's still on probation. Window, and I'm thinking he's trying to aerate out the place. Nope. Bro, he just starts out. punching the screen till there's enough space to fit through and jumps out. He crashes a story below into a bush and starts wailing. Oh! A roommate lets the RA in, who immediately walks to the window to see where all the screaming's coming from. While he was distracted, I sneak out. And as I'm exiting the building, I still remember hearing Jamie's wails in the distance. That's crazy. <laughs> Somehow, Jimmy doesn't get expelled for this, and a week later, I bump into him in the cafeteria. He's got a walking boot on, and before I could even ask about his injuries, he says, Hey, do you still have the two-liter? I'm like, the one we cut in half? Yep, I think so. He's like, good, bring it over my place tonight at eight. So I go over Jimmy's place later that evening, thinking he was just gonna make another gravity bong, but it turns out, he had grander plans. First, Jimmy takes the two-liter and starts stuffing the opening with cigarettes. I'm talking like 40 cigarettes. Then he places it on a table next to a beer can, a bowl, and a little line of Coke. I'm like, Jimmy, uh, this might be a little much, uh, even for you. He's like, don't worry, bro. I'll be fine. I'm like, dude, mixing beer, weed, coke, and cigarettes seems like a really bad idea. He's like, don't forget about peyote. I'm like, peyote? He's like, yeah, I put peyote in one of the cigarettes. You mean the shit that makes you see spirit animals? He's like, yeah, I'm looking to get twisted. I'm like, dude, nah. seriously think about what you're doing for a sec. But before he could bro respond, people start chanting, Jimmy, 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 Jimmy. Jimmy, with a huge smile on his face, yells, to the moon. Then he snorts the coke, takes a hit from the bowl, shotguns the beer, and starts lighting the cigarettes. He gets made Maybe two puffs in before dropping it, coughing violently. <laughs> Everyone's cheering, and I'm thinking disaster averted. That was until Jimmy started talking in tongues. He's just like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> At first we thought he was like kidding, it. but it became clear he was actually losing his mind. I walk over to him to see if he was alright, but he just pushes me aside and bolts out the house. With his walking boot still on, he runs into the street yelling nonsense. People at the party are freaking out, yelling, Jimmy, Jimmy, what are you doing? Eventually a car comes and Jimmy jumps up on the hood. Oh, the driver panics and floors it in reverse, causing Jimmy to fall back first onto the concrete. That's when I was like, fuck this, and called 911. Paramedics come, and as they're taking Jimmy away, I'll never forget what he said to me. <laughs> so whatever happened to Jimmy? Well, I have good news. He ended up turning his life around and is now a guidance counselor. <laughs> I'm kidding. He's dead. But some people need a happy ending. That's crazy. He's okay. Oh, thank goodness. You know me, not being able to deal with reality. The funny part was he made a full recovery from this incident and ended up dying from a drunk driver hitting him. Yeah. Talk about irony. But I guess That's my entire crazy. life is a car crash. That isn't too surprising. Anyway, the lesson you should take from this video is doing reckless things for attention is a recipe for disaster. So if you're struggling with destructive tendencies, it's important to seek help. But if you're going to do it anyway, then at least have it on film. Nah. To the moon, buddy. To the moon, buddy. Is crazy. Mm, you know what you want to do? No, no. Worst type of kids in high school are right, Who this are is the, be the worst last one. types of kids in and high school? Is it ghetto girls? Hoop earrings, fake nails, head movements like a rooster when they're upset. That's Usually called white names, just pronounced poorly. No, it's Stephanie. Talks trash about other girls' hair when hers looks like she got it from my autistic pony. Oh, Thinks they're hot when the only thing flaming is that allergic to latex cooter. Is it Discord mods? Kids with an overly inflated ego from having the tiniest bit of power. They think they're cool when they're really just an Uncle Tom for a successful YouTuber. J Schlag doesn't Tom ask twice. twice. Okay. Okay. Is it the gym rat? First kid you've ever seen with back knee. Refuses to tilt while walking through the hallway. Grunts while working out to let you know who's the alpha. <laughs> Is it the teacher's pet? You know the kid that raises their hand at the end of class to tell the teacher she forgot to sign homework? I mean, have you ever wanted to bully a kid more? How dare you make it so I have 15 minutes less to play Minecraft? But <laughs> homework will help us learn. No. You're about to learn today, sweet cheeks. No. first facial hair. The kid that thinks he's a man because he can now grow a few whiskers above his lip. Thinks he looks like Zac Efron when he really looks like... 
like, get in the back of the van, John. Is it bullies? Nah. The kids who pick on others in order to deflect from their own insecurities. Remember, they're not beating you up for being gay. They're just trying to beat the gay out of themselves. Is it the person most likely to join a cult? You know the people that idolize oh, a narcissist whose only goals are money, power, and to sleep with underage girls who keep a secret? Nah. These kids just want a community to belong to, which comes at the low cost of their silent obedience. Is it <laughs> nah. Nah. greasy walrus-like creatures that have completely given up on their bodies? Tells people body shaming is wrong, asks you use the elevator during fire drills, gets upset when only one butt cheek fits in their chair. These kids are barely even people. Uh, they're basically just flesh vacuums for overprocessed food. Is it the artsy kids who create gorgeous pieces of art that will later be stolen by AI programs? Yeah. These guys are like Heath Ledger. They have tons of talent, but they're too busy sleeping. Is it the <laughs> army recruit? The kid that judges what women do with their bodies while simultaneously letting the government decide what's done with his. Talks about made up threats to our country like wokeism and CRT while disregarding the military industrial complex. Convinces himself he's not a scared teenager who doesn't know what to do with his life and is just looking for someone to make decisions for him. No! No, it's just I love America too damn much! Is it the the Butterface. The girl that would be a 10 if it wasn't for that Down Syndrome Bella Ramsey face. You go from hard to flaccid every time she turns around. Your guy friends nah. bust her chops for hitting on her. The only thing you care about is busting on her chops. Is it the overachiever? The kid in multiple honor classes, sports, and clubs. Also known as the kid with Asian parents. They're always studying <laughs> for exams like their life depends on it. Because in many ways, it does. <laughs> is it the secretly racist kids? Listens to Tucker Carlson. Calls anyone that disagrees with them sheep. Favorite phrase is I'm not racist, but... Always but, mentions our culture crazy. is at stake. When what they really mean is there's a few new black people in town. What is happening to America? Is it the shy no, 10? The quiet crazy. girl that doesn't realize she hit the genetic lottery during puberty. Her fun bags are at max and her trunk is so big when she sits down, she gets taller. She, she tends to keep taller. herself, which is perfect because that means less competition. Now is the time to make offhanded comments about her appearance that will result in years, if not decades, of unresolved insecurities. Hey, your dimples are really big. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, it's not a bad thing. It's just... Odd. Lower her already low self-esteem so she feels like you're the best she can do. Is it the student who brags about sleeping with the teacher? Kids can't keep a secret, let alone one as juicy as pork and Miss Sullivan. <laughs> now, sure, she's a pedo who deserves to be tarred and feathered, but I'm not going to tell my homie that. Why give him childhood trauma that will impact all of his future relationships when I can give him high fives instead? Is it that kid that died drinking and driving? You know the kid that used to bully you, and now everyone's pretending is a saint? Halo around his portrait at the funeral? Really? 11 shots of Jaeger driving 100 miles an hour with no seatbelt, and that's God's choice? Chosen child? Nah. Okay. Now, like Muslims <laughs> okay. on 9-11, you gotta pretend to be sad when you're really just fighting the urge to giggle. Is it special ed <laughs> kids? Good. You know the kids that no. can't take a piss without biting their own tongue? They're no. always disrupting class at inappropriate times. Everyone, I know today is gonna be tough knowing Billy died in a drinking and driving accident, but it's important we get through this <laughs> together. Is it Not the talentless influencer? The kids who have no discernible talent and just react to other people's creativity. Also known as sniper wolf simps. Did That's I accidentally crazy. give out the home address of an individual I've convinced my fan base is trying to ruin my career? Whoopsie. Is it the class Whoopsie. clown? The kid who brings joy and laughter to an otherwise boring geometry class. Willing to take all the punishment from the teacher just to entertain the masses. The OG homie who for a brief moment in time makes you forget about ending yourself. You are lucky no. to even be in a room with them, you talentless monkey! Is it the gossip missing. queen. Girls whose sole purpose is to talk shit about others. You see, gossip is like currency in high school. And the more life-ending a secret is, the richer you are. Don't believe me? Imagine finding out Stacy gave a blowy to the basketball coach. Yeah, you don't think you'd have a little power over her life after that? Uh, what I'm really saying is, we all know mental warfare is worse than physical, right? So in a way, these gossip biddies are mental serial killers. Is it the mental kid that serious. always uses the term cringe, has no discernible talent, and broadly uses the term cringe for anything he doesn't like? You know the kid that doesn't take any creative risks and just shits over other people's hard work. I have a dream. Ugh, cringe. Is it the overdosers? Yeah, the kids with dark circles under eyes who are slowly developing Parkinson's. Crazy. Only talents are finding a vein and sharing with others. Is it the token black kid? You know the one black kid in an all-white school? Has to deal with people saying he's not black enough or acts too white. Mom is a pharmacist for CVS and dad gets angry sometimes. Is it the Adderall junkies? The kids that were given a 50 milligram stimulant because their parents were too lazy to talk to them. Eyes look like they popped E. Can't stop going to the bathroom. Doesn't hide when there's a school shooter because they're too busy focusing on the sweat bead going down Miss Sullivan's chest. Oh, is it tech support? The kid you go to whenever you get viruses in your computer from watching too much Teen Titans corn. Yo, you Teen really Titan like Starfire, don't you? Great. Listen, how about you fix my computer before I have to explain to my sister what post not clarity is? Is it the post rich kid who doesn't think he's rich? Drives a brand new BMW to school? Tries to relate to your problems, but is so out of touch with the struggle that he just comes off as pretentious? Dude, I... I think I have to go back to the foster home. Bro, give me a sec. I'm fighting Vin Diesel if he was the size of a baby. Woo!
Ooh, this <laughs> stuff is getting wild. Is it the prankster? The kid that releases three pigs into school with the numbers one, two, and four on them just for the lols. Is it the kids I who always do that. talking internet slang? No cap, bro be simping over my drip. That boomer just be jelly that your riz be fire, fam. You know, you both use a lot of lingo for I'm not getting laid. Is it the oh, smart kid yeah. who never applies himself? Brags how he aces every exam despite never studying. Thinks life is going to be as easy as high school, but falls into a deep depression by age 23. <laughs> Develops a substance abuse problem and eventually realizes ignorance <laughs> is bliss. Is it the That's ghost? Crazy. And no, I'm not talking about the secretly racist kid. I'm talking Heck. about the kid who's always disappearing from school, only showing up when there's a test, pizza party, or fight. Since Stacy is pregnant, does that make this a two-on-one? Is it the <laughs> school? No! The kids that are always no! screwing up their lives. All the opportunities <laughs> in the world and their brains wow. like... Ah, time to ruin this. Is it the wildlife enthusiast? Spends most time outdoors? Thinks shaving is unnatural? Feeds wild deer around campus? Secretly hopes to get humped to death by a dolphin? I'm just glad you're happy. Is it the horned up athlete? Who you're pretty sure joined the wrestling team so he has an excuse to get handsy? You want to call Excellent. him out, but you're too afraid of being labeled a bigot. Even though you're pretty sure ball tickling isn't a pin technique. Is it my first couple? You know the two kids that are mainlining the most powerful drug of all? Love. Nothing will make a person dumber than being in love. Rash Personality is not blowing you, so it's out the window. At first, you'll think these kids are cute, but very quickly move to get off my fucking locker. Oh, yeah. Becky, you could at least wipe first. Is it the kid who's cool with everyone, but close to no one? They're like trash cans. They're everywhere, but no one ever thinks about them. Is it the letdowns? The kids you Probably think have one. your back, not when really, down, they got the their own one. problems to worry about. <laughs> I know it. <laughs> are the worst types of kids in high school. If you like this madness, check out my other worst kids in high school video where I go That's even hilarious. harder. You're gonna have to take one if you want to make it. Special thanks to my homie Tokemon for collabing on this one. And just remember, J Schlatt doesn't ask twice. Mm, you know you. No. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> what is that? I swear, bro. Well. <laughs> If you like the video, please like, subscribe, hit the bell, join the Discord, all that, and I'm back at the chips. I'll see y'all. <laughs> That's hilarious. This dude, these people.